In this video, you will learn to compute the correlation between columns using StatCrunch. The data set I will be using is called Home Prices in Albuquerque. This data set contains eight columns of data taken from 117 home sales in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1993. The price column represents the sale price in hundreds of dollars for each home. So for example, the first value of 2050 represents a sales price of $205,000. The square footage column represents the square footage of the living space, and the age column is the age in years for each home. The feeds column gives the number of features such as a dishwasher, microwave, or dryer included in the home. The next three columns are indicator variables with a value of one if the home has the characteristic and a value of zero if the home does not. The NE column represents that the home is in the northeast sector of the city. The CUS column is if the home is a custom home. And the CORE column is if the home is on a corner lot. The TAX column represents the annual property taxes for the house in dollars. Let's begin by creating a correlation matrix between the variables in the data set. To do so, under the Stat menu, Choose Summary Stats, Correlation. For this example, I want to select all the columns. To do so, hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and choose all of the columns. Now click Compute. And the result is a correlation matrix where each cell contains the sample correlation between two variables. So for example, in the cell between price and square footage, an approximate value of 0.84 represents the correlation between the sales prices of the home and its square footage. Notice by default, duplicate correlations and correlations between a variable and itself are left out of the matrix. Now let's add p-values to each sample correlation to help identify where there is a significant association between variables. To do so, under Options, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we set up our matrix. Here, StatCrunch has other options for the user to choose. Under Display, I'm going to choose Two-Sided P-Value. I'll click Compute. The resulting correlation matrix now has an additional line per cell that contains the two-sided p-value for the correlation between the corresponding variables. Instead of all this extra information, let's see, say you just want to see a matrix, how price compares to the other variables. Under Options, Edit, under display columns, I do not want to see all the columns. I only want to choose the price column. So I'll highlight price and click compute. Now we have an altered correlation matrix that displays only one column showing the correlation of price with the other characteristics. However, notice that this is ordered by the columns in the data set. Let's say you want to change the ordering of the correlations. Back under Options, choose Edit. I want to order the columns by price, and I can choose Ascending or Descending. For this example, I'll choose Ascending and click Compute. Now the correlation matrix has the variables across the rows sorted in ascending order from the lowest correlation price and age to the highest correlation price with tax.